So um, the machine is all threaded. Uh, normal tensions on the Singer machines, um, we put them all on number three. All the tensions will be different strength, but for the customers, we put them all on number three, and that should give you a perfect stitch. If the stitch doesn't look perfect, that means it hasn't gone into your tension correctly. So just re-thread it again. Make sure it's in between the discs. So um, once it's all threaded, um, I've threaded it with color-coded threads, so you can see. For normal sewing, um, we use stitch length on number three and differential feed on 1.0. Um, it's on the side there, if you can see that. So we'll just run the machine with a fabric. on number three and that's the bottom of it perfect if you get loose stitches on the inside normally because it hasn't gone into your tension correctly um, so just if you're not sure if you get loops on the inside what happens is pretend that that's on zero too loose we go back to one or zero and we'll run it again just see what happens see the difference on the inside stitch on that stitch it's all loose because you can see the blue stitches on there because we've got it on zero we've got no tension at all and that's what happens when the tension's on number three but it hasn't gone in, inside the tension unit correctly so you've got to pull the threads in there um, you'll get the same effect even showing on number three and I've had the machine sometimes customers put them on number nine um, and it's still the same that's because it hasn't gone in there correctly so that has to go back to three. If it's in there correctly, it should be all on number three, it should be perfect for you. If you're using, I'll just run that again, just to put here. Just run that. 